Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to talk to you about quick um, talking about SatNav TomTom via 52. Now when you purchase one of these you'll come in a box like this and inside it you'll have all this stuff here. Basically you will get a manual, right? a manual book as you can see. Okay. And you'll have your sat nav, you'll have a charger and a charging cable comes inside the box. Right. The good thing about this sat nav TomTom Tom via 52 is right. You get five inch, just over five inch touch screen, lifetime map update, three months speed camera. If you want more than three months, after the three months time expired. You have to buy subscription £19.99 from TomTom Tom, Tom Drive. So every year it costs you £19.99, I think, for update on the camera. Uh, and it has, right, you can use TomTom Tom services using your sat nav or smartphone, hand free calling connected via your telephone, sorry, your mobile phone. Okay. So, a good thing about this, I'm using it for the last six, seven months, and prior to that, I had a TomTom Tom Go 50. Right, this is a slick machine, five, as you can see, it's nice and smooth. Right, at the back of this is, I'll take this thing off so I can show you that. There's, this is the suction cup for windows your screen under screen or windshield okay it's really really tough when you stick it it's very very tough it's robust okay so at the back of this machine you have two speakers loud one here one there and you have the on and off button here and your um power power units um, here the slot for the power okay and here if I get close up right you can see for extra memory slot SD slot down here for if you want to add when you, your memory slowly start getting lower you can buy SD card to ramp up your memory right there we are Okay, so it's a good thing to have large memory. You can always download a lot of because you need a lot of big files and updating. So, oh, quite often you have to update your TomTom, -tom, right? Just to get the update, right? So, if we look at this, okay, so here on the, f uh, the front screen, you have menu up there and you have here is the live traffic update when you when you pair with your mobile phone and every time it updates yourself it will give you it gives you update information on traffic If there is a traffic jam hand and things like this, it will divert you automatically. This satna will actually divert you automatically when you're driving. If there's a, a queue up ahead or an accident happened, or so on and so forth, you know, you really die. You will not notice. You'll, you will automatically divert you. So you have search bar here, uh, home, drive home, which means you can store your home address here and. Whenever you are, you only need to do is press this button, it will drive you home. Recent destination means where you have traveled to, current route, and you can program your phone, telephone, and it has so many other features here. Look, petrol pump, you press that button, you'll show up all the local gas station or petrol pump local to wherever you are, the location you're in. It'll literally give you all these petrol pumps nearby. Look, I've got a couple here at the moment right so it's it's very easy to use it's literally child play and it's ever so friendly 
right so if we do a search you can do a search by street name or you can do by using postcode so if you know the postcode type it in all right so we'll use the postcode a known postcode yeah So I just tapped on the postcode. There we are. And just give us a few seconds, we'll load up. And it's a bit slow because I'm indoors. So the satellite signal I guess you know takes a bit of time to get in. Okay, right, okay, there we are. Now interesting thing as you can see on the right hand side of the screen it shows me all the relevant information is giving me the time in a it gives you the arrival time 206 25 miles 51 minutes time of the journey will take me 51 minutes to get there 25 miles away and the time arrival time up there any parking place on the way gives me there. Roadworks, these are the sign for the roadworks. One 16 miles away, another one six and a half miles away. Next one, petrol pump. And he also will tell me if uh, a traffic camera is 500 yards from where I am not right now. Okay, so all this information will appear on the right hand side of the screen. At the bottom, uh, the actual time. Of the day or night will appear here okay and if we press button go button now it will give me uh, the distance I'm going from and to the, the end destination All right so interesting thing about this is whenever you're driving when you're driving and you're approaching a traffic camera or a traffic light camera this screen will give you a warning up front started giving you warning the color will change first of all you start showing you a orange color so this bit of screen will go orange and if the camera is live for example if the camera is live then it will start showing red colors as you speeding it'll give you red colors like here and next traffic light it says red light and speed camera on a traffic light itself All right so that's very very important nowadays when you're driving it doesn't matter how good or how experienced driver you are you must have one of these unless if you don't, the chances of you lose your license because the speed limit on the roads of London now is less, is 20. Most of the areas is 20. And this system will actually tell you the speed on the road and also the, the cameras up ahead of you. And the camera speed means if an active camera that will, yeah, that in this screen here which will tell you you have to drive your car beneath the given speed limit it appears or else you will get zap camera will be flashed simple as that so um this is a really really good helpful piece of kit uh, tiny small um, sleek design another thing you can do is so this is London map I'm just I did a Watford map for a minute if you're searching for a London map for example just to just come up with a Let's come up with a, a map. Alright, it's the South London. Again. Right. 
you can this is in 2d this is the map in 3ds you can go up do all sorts of kind of things you know and you can change the layout you can change the color you can go up to setting here and you can change the appearance you know display you can change the brightness you can change the switch to night color dark theme color as you can see you can change different colors of your screen pink purple cosmetic whatever you like if you put under blue your screen or yellow for example theme color let's have a look now look the theme color changed to yellow everything display will be yellow now all right so if you go back as you can see now the maps and the cars the whole lot become became yellow look just a destination this again as you can see the screen actually has changed into yellow color can you see that it's changed to yellow color right okay see because I've changed the, the color on the screen another thing you can do is when you're searching you can search using variation like if we put London Heathrow for example LHR and that will give you London Heathrow this on the right hand side will appear London Heathrow so we don't even know which terminal so to find out if you go into three four five terminal two three two three four five what you do you press this key keyboard button here and you will list of like go down scroll down and you have all your lists whatever whichever terminal you want to go in see that you can do search like like that the other way is searching for example if you are searching for a train station okay train right you have train station here okay now what you can do like it's giving me my local train station looks all this train station local to me now it pops up look okay there we are easy peasy now supposing you want to specifically search for a, addressing one a particular town for example so instead of searching the whole map you go here and on that side of the menu you um, this is what will appear a whole map near me in town or city when you need to put town and city and then you have to put the name of the town here so if you say Watford let's put Watford okay Watford in Hertfordshire all right so what put thumbs up okay now railway station in Watford look now all the station in Watford will appear here if we say now we specifically searching Watford Hertfordshire town you want to find say uh, High Street uh, there we are, Abbas Langley, Kings Langley, High Street, whatever. So you know the particular name of the road, but you don't even know the postcode. Right, so you search it, and sometimes you'll find it, sometimes you will not find it. So.
There we are. So it's a near town. You searches it's a local search. You can do that easily, easily, and go to the direction you want. Is ever so so simple to use this, right? So if you are planning to buy one of these sat navs or any other kind of have a have a look at a TomTom Tom Wire Fifty Two, roughly about ninety nine pound in any retailers. You know you're a big big electrical shop, but you can pick one up uh, quite cheaply on the eBay. So, log into eBay. I'll leave a link behind underneath this video and check it out. So, as I said before, look, it's so easy, it's ever so easy to use one of these, and it's such a lovely design and it's robust, it's hardly go wrong. And it's, it has contained so much information. You must. If you are a serious driver and you use it on the road, you know, you drive a lot on the road, you have to have a side nav. And the reason being, you know, there's so much traffic cameras, you need to have one of those uh, to avoid getting traffic fines and points on your license and losing your license. If you're in a mini cab trade, invest in one of those. Invest in a TomTom -tom because you've, um, you don't realize how how important this is in your job as a cab driver to have one of these right and another thing about this is every time the lane guidance on those machines are absolutely wonderful absolutely breathtaking lane guidance so if you're driving a motorway this sat now will actually tell you which lane to stay in or not to stay in which exit you should take or to avoid it or if you're in a busy roundabout sometimes people get muddled up which which lane to stay this sat now will actually guide you the lanes and the turning everything you want to take on your route not many sat now do that sort of kind of stuff so this is perfect for if you are if you are a cab driver mini cab driver or you do a lot of driving on the road so one of this is ideal for you um so yeah, unless you buy one and feel it and use it, you would not know how helpful this machine is. So I suggest to invest one of those and uh, give it a go. It's not that expensive, £99.99 .99 from any retailers like Argos, PC World, things like that. Or you can pick one up from eBay. I'll leave a link underneath. So you can go and check it out. So, once again, look, this is, I am, I'm giving you my honest opinion because I've been using this type of sadhana for the last 10 years or more. Right, only TomTom, -tom. so I only use TomTom. -tom. So I not recommend you go and buy two, three hundred pound tom tom. You don't need it. Now I need one. I use this a lot because I do driving for living. So this is really, really helpful. And the interesting thing is you can you can um download TomTom uh, Tom Drive on your computer and keep update as much as you like. Every time there's a new update, they'll give you, they'll send you an email. You, you update your machine, and he keeps up your machine tip top. All the new roads, all the traffic cameras, and everything with it, provided you have to buy a subscription of traffic cameras. But you do not need to buy for the the map. All right, so. If you're thinking of buying a sat nav, go and check it out. I hope you enjoyed this video and all of my other videos. Please make sure to click like and subscribe button. Once again, thank you so much.